Hello subscribers, today we will be taking a look at the Primeval James Luster and Raptor set from the company known as Character Options. Now I kind of forgot that Primeval had a toy line due to the fact that they were only sold in the UK and it was a pretty small toy line. There was only like one variation for each creature. For example, there was only one Raptor, one Smilodon, and one Future Predator. But it's great that Character Options did that. I like how they focus all of their efforts on, on making one fantastic figure of the animal rather than doing just a bunch of mediocre variants. Yes, I am looking at you Mattel. Cause this Raptor right here is really something else. So I got this off of eBay for about 50 bucks a couple months ago. eBay is your best bet for finding these and even then they don't show up that often. Let's do some quick measurements with the flexible ruler. So Lester is about 5 inches tall and the Raptor is about 6 inches tall if you put it in this position. For the dinosaur's length, from head to tail it is nearly a foot long. Now let's start off with the James Lester figure. Looks very cool, very much like how he appeared in the TV series. See there's plenty of good detailing on the head sculpt and on his clothing. And um, his jacket is made out of a rubbery material, but it can't come off. As for articulation, you can move his head, the elbows have a joints, and surprisingly, there's a swivel in the arm. The legs have similar articulation, there's a thigh swivel, and a joint in the knees. So a pretty good human figure. Time for the main event, the raptor. Or the Dromaeosaur, I should say. Many of us don't know what type of theropod this is, but it's been speculated that it's Deinonychus due to its size compared to the humans in Primeval. Or it could just be another case of an oversized Velociraptor, just like the ones you see in the Jurassic Park movies. So taking a look at the detailing, the teeth have been individually sculpted and they look really nice. Going down, you've got that lovely texturing and some pebbling that's mainly visible on the hip and on the thighs. Then going down, you see the thin tail, and there is the feet with the toe claw, and its pronated wrists. The middle finger is cons considerably longer than the others. I would say the best part of the detailing is the proto feathers, which are made out of a rubber material. In fact, the hands and the tail are made of rubber as well. So I'd say this detailing is overall good, but you can still see a lot of smooth skin and smudging, especially on the face and neck. Over, overall, this detailing, it's not as good as say the Jurassic Park Dino Showdown figures or even some of the recent dinosaurs by Mattel, but this can easily be overlooked by the sheer movie accuracy of this toy. Just look at the paint job. It matches the primeval raptor so well, and contrasting colors always look nice, dark colors and light colors. And just look at the sculpt and the proportions. This is the raptor from primeval. The tail is not too small, the feet aren't oversized, and there's no bobblehead. Though, with proper proportions, this comes at a price of balancing. So if you try to make him balance without the aid of his tail, he just falls over. He does not want to stand. So the only way to get him to stand pretty much is to put him in this tripod pose. And to be honest, I really don't mind. This isn't the worst tripod pose I've ever seen. And like, I, and like with the smooth detailing, the balancing issues can easily be overlooked by the movie accuracy. The good stuff doesn't stop at the movie accuracy. The plastic quality is very good. This could fall off your shelf and it will survive, especially with all of the rubber parts. For the articulation, I've counted 16 parts, including the ankles and a surprising movable upper jaw. Though this doesn't include the tail. The reason why I don't include the tail is, every time you try to move it, it just falls off. Because when this was in the packaging, the tail was detached. So like many other dinosaur toys, you have to attach it. Starting off with our comparisons, here are some Mattel Jurassic World Velociraptors. This is a prime example of quality over quantity. If someone were to ask me, what would you rather choose? This one primeval raptor or all of these? And I would much, much rather choose that. Next, here is the Amber Collection JP3 male Velociraptor. This is my favorite Velociraptor from Mattel. It's a solid figure, but it still doesn't hold a candle to this. Up next, let's bring in the Hammond Collection Parasaurolophus, the Hammond Collection Baryonyx, and the Jurassic Park Dino Showdown Allosaurus. Let's do a quick human comparison. Here is James Lester next to the 3 and 3 quarter inch scale Ian Malcolm and the Amber Collection Ellie Sattler. Last but not least, 
Here is James Lester and the Raptor next to the Collecte Xyphactinus and the Collecte Mini Xyphactinus. Well, that wraps up my review for the character options Primeval, James Lester, and Raptor set. Overall, an absolutely amazing set. You're getting a high quality human and dinosaur figure. So, I will give this set a 10 out of 10. Well, the Raptor itself already gets a 10 out of 10 pretty much. I highly recommend you guys picking this up if you can find it. Like I've already said, these things are incredibly rare, so your best bet is keep on checking eBay. So if you guys enjoyed this review, hit that like and subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section of what you think of these figures.